What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mr. Leva, and welcome to Carto. I have no idea what this game is about. I literally just saw the art style of it and thought it looked kind of interesting. And it was free because I have the Xbox Game Pass, and I believe that's what this is on. As is a lot of the games I play. Ooh, what was that fancy little number? Ooh, that was her map. Okay, paper airplanes. Ooh, yeah, shut up. Grandma's busy. Making D&D &D maps. Making tile pieces. Playing God. Grandma. Jesus. Satan. You just got a Judas, Grandma. Oh my god, we're falling from our plane. We are a fallen angel. Okay, so our, ma our grandma causes earthquakes and moves continents. Please don't tell me this game is like, don't starve. It looks so much like, don't starve. Uh, do I have my own little fairy? Do I have my own little Navi? No, I have a map. Welcome explorer, this world is yours to change. You can move any piece of the map. And rotate pieces as needed? Oh. Okay. Okay, and then that should work. And then we can explore. Oh. Well, what does this floating little letter have to tell us? Oh, that was a new map piece. Okay, connect them together. And then we're over there now. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Ahoy there, little one. We don't get new visitors very often. Are you family? Are your family with you? Oof. Da da da. We are the silent protagonists. I see. Well, no matter what, all welcome here, and your timing is fortunate. For today, we celebrate our coming of age of my dearest niece, Shannon. Shannon? Yes, it's very exciting. I was so distracted this morning that I forgot my bait, but no matter, it won't be long until the ceremony. Feel free to explore the island in the meantime, and I'll see you there. Just inviting me to parties without even knowing who I am. Turns out I'm God. Is it your coming of age party? Hi, sweetie. Where did you come from? It's exciting to meet someone new. I've barely left the house in months. I feel that. I feel that in my soul. This little bundle of love keeps me pretty busy. Did you mean my did you meet my husband already? He's fishing nearby. There's probably not catching much. The big lug left without any bait this morning. I guess we'll have to rely on the whims of the ocean as we always have. Good little ladybug likes fish. Not like that filthy fuss pot over there. Hey, have, did you just call your child a filthy fuss pot? Have you visited the other families yet? Keelan and her family were the first ones to come to this island. They lived right on the sea. Sia is my sister-in-law. She lives in the forest with her family. Her daughter Cheyenne is coming of ages today. I can't believe it's here already. Okay. Uh, we're going to examine their laundry or light bulbs. Salty snacks of minnows drying in the sun. Minnows? Rawr. Who are you? Are you 15? Mama said I have to be 15 before I can have my coming of age. If you're not 15, then how did you cross the sea? When someone turns 15, a boat arrives at the North Pier, a gift from the sea. The 15-year-old has to get in the boat and leave the island forever. I want to leave forever. That's like a month. Why do they get in a boat and leave forever? Once you turn 15 and... Does that mean you're not 15 but your daughter's older than you? How does that work? Oh, there's someone else on that island. Oh no, you don't look familiar. I must be really lost. I know it's a small island, but I always get distracted on the way home. The ocean is just so beautiful. Honestly, for the scale, this island's pretty huge. It's not so small. And full of mermaids. This is a bit embarrassing, but could I trouble your help me home? You seem to know your way around. I mean, I kind of create my way around, so yeah, I'd say I know the place pretty well. My house is east of the one on the grassland along the sea. Now, if I can only figure out which way is east. Yeah, that's a good question, bud. 
We had to make him into his own house. <sighs> Give me that. Give me that now. What do you have to say? Oh. You don't question the fact that you didn't move and just suddenly you were here? Uh, like, I get you might not be able to, like, tell you were, like, rotating, because technically the direction is all from your perspective. Y you would have saw this giant house with a giant fish on top of it. Yes, yes, this looks familiar. That's my house and that's my lady. Must be my wife. Wow, what luck. Thank you for helping me, sweet child. What do you mean, what luck? Hello there. Thank you for helping my husband home. Okay, he is your actual husband. He's not just assuming that he lives here now. Yeah, he'd forget his nose if it wasn't attached to his face. I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you from another tribe? What are your traditions? Our people are pioneers of the sea. Once we set sail, we settled on the first island that we found. We feel so lucky that it was this one. We just love it here. Have you met Cheyenne yet? She's very special to us. It will be hard to say goodbye, but we are excited for her. I'm sure she'd like to meet you if you get the chance. Yo, don't get lost, bro. Psst. Are you looking for Cheyenne? She lives in a forest way bigger than this one. Bro, your mom's up there. I I separated you from your family somehow, right? Like, that's what happened here? Kid, where's your mom? Alright, like, you were the one that was running in circles everywhere. Where's your mom? Why did they drop two more... That was really weird. I don't know what I did to trigger that, but I did it. Straight ahead should be a house. Yeah. Lumberjack? It's Cheyenne! Get her. Sigh. I'm not ready to leave. Okay. I know it's tradition, but my family is all I have. Why can't I come back and visit them after I set sail? Our people have had that tradition for so long. I bet they've forgotten why they do it in the first place. Not all traditions are good, you know. Sometimes we do them just because it's what we've always done. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just upset. Thank you for listening. Who might you be? Oh, no need to be nervous. I'm Cheyenne, and welcome to our island. I'm about to leave it forever, though. Coming of age ceremony is today. I guess part of me is excited, but I'm scared that I'll be lonely out here. It might take me a while to make new friends. And adventures are always more fun with someone else. I know I just met you, but maybe you would want to come with me? You look like you'd be a good friend. Wow, really? This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, what about your family? What do you tell them? Um, I'm assuming our name is Carto. Uh, when, like, you get lost, you're supposed to stay where you are and only travel for food and water but stay in one spot so that way they know when they find it that this is like a fresh campsite maybe he'll come back and or it's not two people wandering the woods following each other's trails of ooh they've been here right that's like the first thing you learn in boy scouts is the buddy system which we about to do and when you get lost stay in one spot this girl over here though is literally moving the world to just explore, and then agrees to go with this girl to a whole nother landmass. The concept behind this game is just amazing though, like... The way you affect the world is just awesome. Now this dude literally doesn't live east of nowhere, like get out of here. Alright, let's talk to everybody I guess. Whoa! Honey look, that boat is Cheyenne's gift from the sea. It always feels like magic when they appear. So wait a minute, okay, so every time a generation of kids reaches 15, at 15, they sail off. So everybody on this island is a first generation to this island. And they die on this island. Um, where do these boats come from, then? If it's really not... Like, if it's really not them building them, where are they coming from? May I ask you a favor? Oh, a wooden boat. Please take this memento with you. If you meet my son somewhere out there, give it to him. The odds are low, but I'll take any chance I can to... And then he returns home. Alright, cool. Hi, Carto. I can't believe the boat really came. I guess I'm ready to go. What about you? Yeah, we can leave. Woo! Let's get the ceremony started. See, see, that's why I don't record at four in the morning. Like I am right now. This one's turn out the best. 
Farewell, everyone. We'll see you later. Oh my god, no, not with the puns. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's going to go ahead and be it for me and this episode of Carto. If you liked it, go ahead and let me know by hitting the like button and leave a comment down below. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really thought that it was a really cool concept of a little puzzle game without it being like too complicated a puzzle, but a really cool way of just letting you have some sort of control over a linear, like, linear story. is like, Linear story is really cool. I really like this a lot, but... That'll be it for me, guys. As always, like I said, I hope you enjoy. I appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.